previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? Come on, I'm gonna get you out of here. What? Who are you? <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now! Oh, this way! Jesse! You made it! And... Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster, or we're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses! Don't look back! Ah! I looked! Everyone follow me! <laughs> Jesse, look out! Ah, this is awesome! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it, I'm getting horse sick.
It's gaining on us! No offense, but you can use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! Are you trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster! We need more blocks. I got some. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Ugh, Axel, you're screaming in my ear. Sorry. It. We actually freaking made it! Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! <sighs> Who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh, never blame myself for anything. Ah! 
being emotional is getting us nowhere. What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey! It's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know! And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I'm asking you, as a friend, please stay, Lucas. We need you right now. You really mean that? Yes, we're in this together. Whatever happens next, there's no way we can do it without you. Okay, I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Me too. I'm gonna go check on the horses. <coughs> Whoa, easy there. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. He's a member of the Order of the Stone. The Order of the what now? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Hmm. And... How do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but... Are you kidding me? You're both in the Order. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. No, oh, no, no, no. Anything but that. Come on, it's what you're famous for. <sighs> well, all right then. The Ender Dragon. You see, it was huge. And dangerous. And for a while there, it looked like we were goners. But you know who stepped in and killed that thing? Um, was it Jesse? Huh? No! It was you, man! You killed it! Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse. Thank you, too. You've been a big help here. I, uh... I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. 
But I want to express my gratitude. You can thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm... <coughs> Fine! If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not gonna make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. Reuben! Oh, not again. Reuben! Don't run off on me like that, okay? <laughs> I don't want to lose you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. <laughs> well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for... Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So, 
So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a wither storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas- Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So, if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a- Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is, we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Well, never thought I'd be saying this, but Ivor, lead the way. Hey, Jesse, let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The builder bump? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Thank <laughs> you.
My rear end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl and noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Sweet, a potato. Potatoes. Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? 
I should probably take what I have back to the group. A witch's hut? Ah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake! That's... that's enough to feed everyone! It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. An entire cake. Nice! A potion of leaping. Cool! Ivor? Jesse, help us! Hey, you, witch! Everyone, let's get out of here ASAP! Ivor said the Far Lands are just past the swamp. Wait! Where is Ivor? What? I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a whoa. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. This wall? Did Ivor build this? No, of course not. This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, 
Maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Probably climb these. Everyone, on guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys, caught in the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer.
Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia!
This place just gets weirder and weirder. It's safe to say the far lands are strange. I first met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay.
What's that? Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Stone block, that'll come in handy. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, we've got to push on to Ivor's lab somehow. Too bad there's a gaping bottomless pit in the way. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, I'll help you. How are you gonna help me when I don't even know where to start? This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. You know what? We're better than them. Better than the Order? I don't know about that. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You and I found Eligard together. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, uh, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Sooner the better.
Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. <laughs> It must be this way! Run! Hey, over here! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spent the whole ride quivering in terror. <laughs> what? The, the man's mad. He's wither crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Uh, I like you better when you had amnesia. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Planks, those will be useful. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah. No lever, no functioning circuit. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old-fashioned lever. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. Why would you build a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. 
Good point. Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there. We'll head down and see what we can find. Whoa. What is all this? Ha! <laughs> Incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Oh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? Am I crazy, or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. Oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Elagard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Aha, a hopper. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Any idea how this hopper thing's supposed to work? I have no clue. Ivor can be very confounding when he wants to be. Looks like a regular hopper. That's hooked up to a bunch of redstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Any idea how this hopper thing's supposed to work? I have no clue. Ivor can be very confounding when he wants to be. Huh, five slots. Gassed tears. Let's try them here. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. A sea lantern. In you go. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Yes! You solved it! 
But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Hmm, interesting. Pressed all four, but it isn't doing anything. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> We're missing something here, Soren, and I have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours. I have a key locked in my head? What I'm saying is, I think you need to tell me about the Ender Dragon battle. Oh, ha. Huh. If only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. You? Did all that? Indeed I did. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? There's another door? Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Uh, sorry, maybe the short version this time? Well, all right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT shockwave, the third with Eligard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. Reuben, do you know what to do here? Uh oh. Uh, well, it was worth a shot.
Hey, Ruben, give me a boost, will ya? There's the book. Wait, aren't those the Ender Crystals? Like the real ones? No, it, it can't be. Not here. But those things were destroyed in your big heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, I want the truth and I want it now. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care. Well, I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. Why would you do that? You you lied, even to your closest friends! All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor, how long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. Yeah, I think you are. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor, why? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed, has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. I suppose they do. Unfortunately for all of us, 
Your lesson got out of hand. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Well, they are. And while we sit around talking about your dysfunctional order of liars, those things are still out there wrecking the world. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. This thing better work, because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see. I don't think I can craft anything with what I have on me. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! <laughs> so, I can craft whatever I want, huh? An axe. Yes, I a push a hoe. Awesome! I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold! My enchanted diamond sword! Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor, too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT! Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable, and sturdy. They won't stop damage, but they'll help. Some of these were even worn in battle. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. How do I look? Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Good to see you too, Axel. Axel, where's Magnus? Oh man, you won't believe it. 
See, at first it all went down like he said. Ride for Soren's fortress, etc., etc. Then we realized... The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, blast! They've kept the main wither storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Magnus ran off to fight that thing, all by himself. He's fighting a wither storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... Of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? I'll explain later. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. She's still in that cave. I hope she's all right. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but do we just go for it, or what? You need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. Anyone see the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. Doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it! Snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Uh oh. Right, 
Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? Nice one, Ruben. Now we just need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have fireworks and TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some leftover slime from the maze. I have some wool from Soren's place. Oh. And I still have that mine cart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean... If we use the TNT on, say... A minecart. Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp. Or even go straight up vertically. Or find a way to use redstone. We're Guys, check it out. Use the pistons, the redstone, and the TNT to build a TNT launcher. And I climb on, and you guys blast me all the way into the wither storm. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! Whoa! Lucas, I need a hand here. I can do better than that. Hey, Witherstorm! Over here! Fireworks! Good thinking, Lucas! Now let's hurry up and build this thing! Eyes on me, you great big bully! You guys done yet? Just need a few more seconds! Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse, I know you can do this. So do I. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. <laughs> Ruben, this is no place for a... Big! Shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? that command block, you understand? Yeah. 
Whoa! Why didn't I always carry an enchanted weapon? I'm coming, Reuben! It's doing everything it can to protect the command block, which means I have to do everything I can to destroy it. Awesome weapon, don't fail me now. New plan. I'm going to climb up there and use one of those tentacles to swing toward the command block. Stay here, Reuben. I mean it this time. Told you to stay put. beam. Hey, you! Ruben, stay out of sight. If anything goes wrong, I don't want you caught up in it. Bet you can't catch me! I have to look down. No, 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 no! Reuben, I need your help! Remember how we used to play fetch? That's it, that's it! Come on, Reuben, I believe in you! Uh Jump, I'll catch you! You did it! I knew I could count on you! Time to put an end to this thing once and for... Reuben! Hold on, buddy! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think you'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? 
Reuben! <laughs> oh no! Reuben! You're a hero, you know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Reuben, say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. The Order of the Stone... Is not what you all believed. We were... Frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They stood by my side right from the start. Well, and they made fun of me when I deserved it. 
That's just how we are. Dang right we are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the end. We even made friends with some Endermen, which is kind of a long story. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? My hero, Reuben the pig. He may have seemed like just a pig to most people, but he was so much more. And at the end of the day, he saved us all. For Reuben! Jesse, this is the Nether Star that dropped when the Wither Storm was destroyed. You want to do the honors? This is going to be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.